This is good. Thank you. Oh, what a bite. Shit. God damn. I oh. heard you do it. So much. It has sweetness, it has richness, it has a more sophisticated Whoa. flavor. I just never heard anybody describe this with so much beauty. Welcome to Snack Talk, the show that answers every snack-related question you could ever imagine. Today, we're talking about memorable snacks. Those snacks that have stood the test of time. The snacks that give us the feels. Later on in the episode, we're gonna be taking video calls from viewers just like yourselves. You may know our guests joining us today from their very successful podcast, Guys We F***ed, along with their brand new book called being sexually explorative and self-confident in a world that's screwed. Please welcome Christina Hutchinson and Corinne Fisher. Hello. Did I get it? Yeah, you did. That was a mouthful. Great to meet you. Oh, hello. I, I never know if we're, if we're acting, if you're just actually asking us for our opinion. Sorry, I gave you a half hug. Oh, it's but great. I meant, it, I meant it fully. That's Good like a Minnesota see. hug. Good to see you. We call oh, that good. a side hug. Please. <laughs> Great job. Nailed it. All right, so we're not here to talk about sex. We are here to talk about snacks. Love snacks. Yeah? Perfect. Almost as much as sex. I prefer snacks, actually. Yeah, she does. <laughs> Do you Sorry to ever go against the brand. I'm like 60-40. 60-40, sex, sex, sex yeah. snacks. I'm like 90-10. So um, we've done some research as an internet creep. So I have some of your most memorable snacks right here. Christina, let's start with yours. Would you like to see what we got? Yes. Perfect, as long as we can eat them. You can, you can. Yes, that's my favorite thing in the whole world. <laughs> Launchables. Yes. Yeah. Oh, Launchables, specifically turkey. Yes, it's the only kind I eat. Yeah? Yeah, it's amazing. Well, and you, I, yeah. I have like a ritual where I'll eat them, like you stack them, but then I'll eat one ingredient at a time and I'll like switch it up and I'll stack them again. Whoa. Yes. We've traveled the world and like I'm out like trying new cuisines and Christina will get a lunch. Fucking lunchables, man. <laughs> well, I feel like there's something to be said for, you know, the as children and as as young adults, you know, yeah. the lunchable it's like a, a hug. Someone cared. It is a hug. They didn't it care enough to make hug. you a full sandwich. I was going to say, I was like, it's a hug from a, a parent <laughs> a, who cares It's a DIY of. hug, and that's fine, because you should learn to hug yourself from a young age. You know? Yeah, it's like care a step up from handing your kid a $5 bill, but a step down it's from like, like a brown paper bag with like Billy, a heart on it. Yeah. You make kind it. on your own kid. You make it. And yeah, you're like, it. thanks, Mom. You build a lunch castle. 12 grams of protein in this good guy. May I do yeah. the honors? Yeah. Oh man, I'm nervous about this. I haven't done it in a while. Grab it from the turkey corner. Oh really? Oh well, yeah. so sorry. <laughs> yeah, let's see how it's done. Sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Watch this, everybody. Ooh. Let's see if we can be ready. Oh, that's, yeah. that's oh. very nice. We made. Oh, you just do, mm. wow! You the whole thing. See, I usually do like half bites, but that's whatever. Whatever you got, your own method. You know. I have a big mouth. Mm. You see that? Hmm. When someone's feeding you, it's, it's better to take the whole thing. That That's sounded true. that sounded inappropriate, but <laughs> <laughs> now it's time to take some calls from viewers at home, viewers that are fans of Snack Talk, everyday normal Joes all across America. Okay. All right. Perfect. All right. So our first call is from uh, Dennis H of Los Angeles. Hey, what? hey, 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 who's snacking here? Look, it's Dennis Haskins. <laughs> He's so cute. That's Mr. Building <laughs> from Saved by the Bell. <laughs> Dennis, what is your most memorable and beloved snack? Little Debbie snacks and cakes. They're worldwide. But since they're from my hometown, I love them. And my favorite Little Debbie snack and cake is the Swiss cake roll. Mm. You can take the chocolate layer off of the Swiss cake roll, then go to the cake, then enter from either end to get the cream. You can find all kinds of ways to eat those things. Is there anything else you'd like to add? I was in a film called Trailer Park Shark with Thomas Ian Nicholas and Tara Reid. And I have a film coming out with Tom Sizemore called Into a Dark Mind. You guys take care. Bye, Dennis. Bye, we love you. Dennis. Bye. Miss you. He's on the right track with Little Debbie, in, but in my opinion, she's made better products. Oh, wow. Nutty bars and cosmic Shade. brownies, I think, are, are better. The nutty Agreed. bar is a fantastic oh. product. And you layer it, you take one each, layer yes. by layer. That I eat in layers. Oof. Yeah. There's a lot of ways to eat a nutty buddy. Very good. Mm -hmm. wow. Some strong opinions on uh, Little Debbie. <laughs> All right, so our, our next call is from uh, Danny T and Mike M from New York, New York. Hey, Justin. Hey, Justin, what's up? Keaton Pete. Danny Tamborelli and Mike Morana. You know him as Pete and Pete. Yeah, they're the best. 
Guys, please tell us your most memorable snacks. Well, you know, I always love the, uh, the real, like, kind of soury, tangy, fruity snacks, like uh, Gushers and Fruit by the Foot. Yeah, and I always loved uh, lick em sticks, the dip, dip sticks. I tended to um, lick the stick, jam it in the pouch of sugar, Mm. and then eat the sugar directly off the sugar stick. He hasn't been to the doctor since, so he should really get checked for diabetes. <laughs> if I don't go to the doctor, nothing's wrong. <laughs> so true. Guys, is, is there anything else you'd like to talk about? Thanks for having us. Yeah. You know, we have this uh, cool podcast called The Adventures of Danny, Danny and Mike. Mike. Thanks, thanks Justin. Justin. Hey, thanks, guys. We love you. Bye, See you guys. Around. I miss you. <laughs> I miss all of them. Yeah. I leave. Right? Mm -hmm. That's that's how we know we're getting the feels. I would eat Lunchables while watching Pete and Pete. Hell yeah. Yeah. What a great group of callers so far, and we still have more to come. But first, Corinne, let's talk about your most memorable snack. Ooh. It's definitely one of mine. This is this was my go-to if I was getting dessert in the cafeteria. Mm. We always had the chocolate ones and the strawberry ones, and a lot of people would get the chocolate ones, okay. and I was like, you guys are gonna have no future. What? And look at me now. I got the okay. chocolate ones. Well, <laughs> you were wrong. <laughs> this is more Love balanced. So it has sweetness, it has richness, but the strawberry brings acidity to it. And it is a more sophisticated dish. It has a more sophisticated Whoa. flavor. It's, it's got a cord. Are you to just it, saying you know? this? Yeah, that's a lot stroke of my ego, no, or do no. you really feel that way as like so a professional food? I think you person. guys are. Yes. <laughs> yes. Snack mates. I've just never heard anybody describe this with so much, you know, beauty. I really, think, I really, it's a, it's a top-notch product. I really stand behind it. All right. Well, does anyone want to try it? This is good. Thank you. Oh, what a bite! Shit. God damn. I heard oh. you do it. Let's take some more calls, shall we? Our next call <laughs> is from a, a Scott T. Oddly enough, in Las Vegas. Oh, okay. Ooh, nice. <gasps> my goodness, it's Scott Thompson, the one and only Carrot Top. You're one of my favorites. What's your most memorable snack? Oh man, candy corn probably. I wish, in fact, I've always wanted to make candy corn in the cob. I think that'd be hilarious. But I think the burning question on everyone's mind is, look, you go by the na stage name Carrot Top. There is a snack in your name. Do you like to eat carrots as a snack? No, actually, it's just funny thing. Uh, no, I avoid carrots at every cost. In fact, people always try to bring me at the end of the dinner, hey, a carrot cake, get a carrot cake. And where I was like, oh. oh God. Ugh. All right, well, Scott, is there anything else you'd like to let us know? We're in Las Vegas uh, pretty much all all the time. We have a, we're at the Luxor, you can't miss it. It's a hotel oh, with a big light on it. And we'll be here for uh, forever, hopefully. So if you're ever in Vegas, come check us out. I'm going. Uh, <laughs> and I'm a big fan, Justin. Let's go get some snacks. Thanks, Carrot Top. Love you. Love you too, buddy. Bye. Eat some Doritos. Love you. <laughs> Eat some <Love> Doritos. <laughs> so um, how do you feel about candy corn? I love it. I like it, but I only can eat it during Halloween, Same. Thanksgiving season. Like if I, you try to eat it in the summer, it just doesn't taste right. Fantastic. All right, our next call is from <laughs> Ben C. Probably just a regular Joe here in New York, New York. For sure. Yeah, I, I would think so. Ben Curtis, you're the Dell dude in the Dell commercials. So what's your most memorable and beloved snack? Well, one of my favorite snacks was Big League Chew. I used to um, be obsessed with baseball, and it was like the being bad of chewing chewing tobacco, but not really because it was candy, so you could feel like you were doing something bad. I usually put the whole patch in my mouth. Pro moves, crow so moves, I expect nothing less. Is there anything else you'd like to add, Ben? So, yeah, I just finished an off-Broadway show produced by Brian Cranston, and it was called The Crusade of Connor Stevens, and I got to play the lead in that. That was pretty amazing. Uh, we gotta get back to our snacks now. Dude, you're getting snacks. Hey, that's it. That's my dude. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> Can you believe that these are just everyday callers? Absolute, just normal fans of ours? You got it's, a great fan base. It's actually very believable. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you ever come home drunk and you're like, I want a peanut butter and banana on, on toast, but then you just dip a banana in the peanut butter and it oh, just yeah. like, doesn't work out. No. You gotta scoop it up with your hand. You're like, I'm an animal. Right? Yeah. Wait, you've actually d dunked a full? Yeah, you can't really do that, it turns out. It's yeah. hard. <laughs> yeah. really is. You either need a, a stiffer banana or a softer peanut butter, one or the other. The banana is very stiff, though. It's, it's, it's like not good it's to not eat. It's not ready yet. It's not yes, right. Sir. All right, our, uh, our next caller is Larry T. from San Francisco, California. Hey, Justin. Wow, Larry Thomas, you played the soup Nazi on Seinfeld. We love you. 
So what's your most memorable and beloved snack? Well, I always like pretzels. Pretzels are my thing. I guess it comes from growing up in New York. I'm a New Yorker, and they used to have those big, delicious bread pretzels on all the oh. carts, and you know, that was my biggest treat to get a bread pretzel. Fantastic. Larry, is there anything else you'd like to add? Uh, I wrote a book called Confessions of a Soup Nazi, Ooh, an adventure in acting and cooking. Yeah. And That's it's there. basically um, all about my acting career, memoirs of my career, and 52 of my own recipes, eight of which are soup, and, uh, and they're good. You can get it on my website, yeah. www.realsoupnazi.com. That all sounds great. We have to get back to our snacks now. You want snacks? You want snacks? No snack for you! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Thanks, Larry. Hey, we love you. Hope to see you around, man. Oh, gosh, what a stare. When he first said pretzels, I was like, uh oh, are you boring? But then he's like, right. the soft pretzels, and you get, oh, those, are, those are amazing. Well, You've got a um, lot of great uh, fans of your show. You know, That's I a had. Pretty great roster. I had no idea that we had this high caliber, high quality viewer. Yeah. Kind of crazy. It's amazing. Well, thank you so much for joining us here on Snack Talk. Um, please remind us once again where we can find those funny selves of yours. Uh, so our podcast, Guys We F***ed, the anti-slut shaming podcast, is available on SoundCloud, Stitcher, Spotify, and iTunes. Anywhere oh. you can get podcasts, basically. Damn. And then we also have a book that's out right now called F***ed, Being Sexually Explorative and Self-Confident in a World That's Screwed. Can't wait to pick that up and give it a listen. Uh, that's all the time we have here on uh, Snack Talk. <laughs> I love listening to books, you know? It's just It might not be an audio book. book. It's like you know you are. Yeah. Very, no, I know. Too busy. <laughs> <laughs> Cooking. That's all the time we have here on Snack Talk. If you have any uh, burning snack-related questions, uh, feel free to leave them in the uh, comments below, and we'll take a gander. Thanks for tuning in. That's it for Snack Talk. We'll see you next time. Bye. Thanks for watching Snack Talk. Be sure to like and subscribe. And if you'd like to win this beautiful tub of cheese balls, all you have to do is guess the correct amount and leave your guess in the comments below. If you win, I'll mail the tub to you personally.